I clicked live anyway, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome, everybody. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just like usual. It is. It was a lot of running really fast and getting things set up uh, at the last minute. It's not that I wasn't ready. That it one sitting across me. from me wasn't ready. <laughs> you didn't even warn me that we were alive. You were like, oh, uh, I just yeah, clicked I live. I'm like can't mess around it's time to go we got to go welcome everyone uh very excited to be here we've got a fun conversation to be had today i think the the topic of today is going to be fun uh before we get into that i do have a couple of things to speak on oh um nothing controversial well one kind of a little bit but the first thing i wanted to do is remind you that michael rosenbaum is the best lex Luthor that's ever been put Mm -hmm. on film but then after that uh, we did a little old video on Sunday. Actually, I did. It was just me in the video. Yeah, you did. And uh, I'm not seeing... Oh, there it is. Uh, audio, video, good. Thank you, Zen, and anybody else that may have said it. For some reason, uh, my, my chat wasn't coming through. But uh, in that video, the video was all about fish that should not be in the hobby because... Unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of people that have those fish don't keep them properly. And one of the very common comments was, oh, gee, I wonder what Predatory Fins thinks about this. Uh, Because I did mention uh, Ohio Fish Rescue, and Josh actually commented uh, on his most recent video. I was made aware of that by Whip's World. Thank you for that, Whip. Um spoke very highly of of what it was that I said and didn't see it as controversial at all because I said in there, unless your name's Big Rich from the Ohio Fish Rescue, you ain't doing this right if you have Arapaimos, as a matter of fact, is what I was talking about in there. But anyway, uh, I mentioned Ohio Fish Rescue, but I did not mention Predatory Fins. If you're not familiar with Predatory Fins, they specialize in monster fish. And it would be very easy to think that with the topic of that video uh, and the and the potential controversy that is the topic of that video, uh, because almost all of the fish that I talked about in that video, they carry over at Predatory Fins. It would be very easy to look at that and say, well, John's taking a stab at companies like that. And I most certainly was not. in fact, if, if I had thought about it, to talk about it in the video, what I would have said if I brought up predatory fins is they're the ones that are doing this right. They're the ones that are showing the way these fish should be kept. They've got these massive aquariums in their facility. They've got an amazing facility. I wish I could visit it. Maybe we'll get the opportunity to visit it when we go up there to uh, commentate on the fight between oh, that would be a lot of fun. Rod and, yeah, and Joey Rod fun. being the owner of, um, of uh, what are we talking about? Predatory Fins, who I've never met. I've been in the same room with him, but we never met. We never spoke or anything like I, that. I think at Aquashella, he was there the yeah. same. Yeah. But I never got to meet him. I mean, right. he was he was right there, but I didn't get to meet him. I remember uh, he was like, yeah, right there. Yeah, not here in the fish <laughs> house, but he was right away. You know, their booth was like three booths down from where we were. Yeah, I think uh, his wife had just had the baby, too. Okay. Yeah, we never got a chance to, to meet him, but, you know, that happens at events like that. Um, there's no, there's no uh, you know, ill feelings or drama, or at least not that I know of, between um, Predatory Fins and us. In fact, you wouldn't hear me say anything but glowing things about them. And if I, if there's one thing that I could say is, first of all, they're doing it right. And the second thing I would say is the kind of people I was talking about in that video are not going to predatory fins. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It's weird the angle that I'm sitting at because I can see cars driving down the road and it distracts me a little bit. Um, you're not going to have a beginner fish keeper right. setting up their first aquarium go to a place like predatory fins that specializes in big giant fish that you know a minimum should be in a tank like this behind me um so they're they're not even associated whatsoever with who i was talking about in that video what i was trying to do was uh steer 
new fish keepers away from that kind of fish. Yeah, fish so. that are sold at, you know, Petco, PetSmart, and yes, some mom and pop stores too. If people aren't aware and they go and they buy them this big, right? they're not familiar with how big they get. Well, and it's not only big box. I mean, because I've never seen an Arapaima at a big box store. I've never seen a Paku. Yeah. But it, it's, I mean, what I was talking about was both big box stores and, um, and, and mom and pops, but not a mom and pop like Predatory Fins. You know, Predatory Fins specializes in that kind of fish. Right. The people that are going there are people that are genuinely interested in that kind of fish. They know what it big. takes. They're already big. Right. They're not babies. They're not little fish in a 10 gallon tank at exactly know, wherever. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there nobody really talked about it in the comments of that video as yeah, if there's not negative or anything. Yeah, as if there's drama. It's just more like, oh boy, I wonder what Rod from Predatory Fins would say about this. And I, I don't know the man. I know people who know him and have talked to a guy who's talked to him. And my belief is that he would say the exact same thing that I said in the video, just like Josh did from Ohio Fish Rescue. Right. I think he would look at it and say, yeah, it makes sense that only certain people should have, not a certain type of person, but only certain people that are properly equipped should be able to have fish like that. And he would warn people that aren't prepared for it not to have fish like that. Yeah. And so, you know, ain't no drama there, which I'm particularly happy about because I'm going to be seeing him in about eight months and he's going to, <laughs> uh, let's just say he's going to be in a fighting mood when I see him. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there's going to be a big old fight between Rod, the owner of Predatory Fins, and Joey Mullen, the king of DIY. Uh, that's coming up in August and uh, Joey has asked me to play the role of Joe Rogan in that. Uh, and I don't think we ever talked about this because I just don't think we ever did. Uh, I did find out that my co-commentator, <coughs> I guess you would call it, uh, is going to be Paul Cafaro. So it's going to be a mixture of the young and energetic and the old and grumpy. Uh, those are going to be your two commentators, uh, myself and Paul Cafaro, commentating the YouTube fish tube fight of the century. It's going to be very cool. There's supposed to be, uh, last I heard, 10 fights that night uh, and your boy this one is going to be sitting ringside getting the blood and the sweat and the, hopefully not blood but the sweat and and it's going to be gross and but that's going to be exciting because i've never been to anything like that before and so to be to do, to do that and be sitting ringside it's pretty daggone cool my beautiful lady, I almost called you bride, and I'd get in trouble for that. She is going to be sitting up in the VIP suite. This is according to Joey. Uh, I'm sure he'll show up here later because he's he always shows up in our streams, but it's always at the end when he yeah, shows he's up. He's always late. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm sure Tamara will be up there. And, you know, that's what Joey said was that she was going to be in the VIP suite. So if you're interested in that, if you live in New York, I don't know where in New York, but somewhere in the state of New York. Um, that's where the fight's going to be. If you want to go there live, if not, it will be available for pay-per-view. Uh, what I'm going to tell you is this though. Okay. Listen, I'm not being paid to go up there. Okay. It's just, Joey asked me to do it. And I said, yeah. And he's, and he said, but there is a way that you can make money. And that would be by selling pay-per-views to it. it. You know, we'll give you a cut if, if people use our code to buy the, uh, the pay-per-view. I don't have that code yet. So if you are interested in watching that fight, it is not going to be expensive. And there's going to be uh, like, you know, early access pricing uh, that'll be cheaper than if you were to buy it the day of, just like any other uh, combat sport on pay-per-view. And uh, if you're going to do that, hold off until I can give you my code. And then you can do that. And maybe we can make a few dollars. And I don't care if we do or not, because... I just think it's going to be fun to go up there and uh, and and be able to sit ringside and watch my friend and a guy that at that point probably will be my friend because like I said I never re met Rod but we're the kind of people Rod and I both love the same things we love big fish and we love beautiful women so hey we're going to be friends I'm sure um, 
that was probably inappropriate what I just said because I've never seen his wife. But anyway, I'm sure Rod and I will be friends. So I'll be watching two, fi two friends fight in the ring. And uh, if you want to watch it, you can watch it on pay-per-view. I think there's going to be 900 something tickets available in person. 900,000? 900. Um, 900. Oh. So that, I mean, that's a pretty good size arena. Um, so, you know, when the tickets go on sale for the live event, you're going to want to buy those quick if you, if you want to be there in person um, to watch 10 fights, all fish tube YouTubers, influencers. I've heard a lot of the other names, but I don't know for a fact that they're confirmed. Joey actually texted me yesterday or the day before and said, we've got contracts signed. Things are getting official. So it's coming when I am able to uh, announce who those other fighters on the card will be. I'll tell you, and it'll be fun. So there was no drama. There was no shade thrown at predatory fins in that video. If I was going to throw shade at somebody, I think you know me well enough by now to know that I would have just said who I'm throwing shade at. Or you just <laughs> tell me to say it. No, Yeah, that could be a thing too. <laughs> so, do you have any updates you want to do before we get started? Oh, boy. I could say some stuff. Oh. But. Oh, go I'm, ahead. I'm not. Please do. Oh, about the comment yesterday. Okay. Not you a comment what? by me. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. Let me do it. Just because, you guys, it's funny to me, but <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. I used a bad word. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just I'll just let it go. What was the video? We can just tell people to go see uh, it. The... It was the Beta mates. Tank Mates. Yeah, Beta Tank Mates. Yeah, so the guy, Nathan Brooks, 2581, said, Why does the lady not smile? Does she hate her job or what? Hate to break it to her, but she got that RBF going on. I had to ask her what that meant. I didn't know. So I responded to that. And I left my name. And I'll just leave it there. <laughs> and her <laughs> comment was rather spicy. So if you want to read that, uh, go and check that out on that video. Will Father <laughs> Fish be fighting? I don't believe he will. Um, I don't know that Lou is quite uh, in fighting shape at 82 years old, I think he is. I don't think Lou will be fighting. but uh, He should come, though, and just hang out. It would be interesting to see. It's going to be right there in Rico Stan's uh, neck of the woods, so maybe he'll show up. Is he in here tonight? Uh, uh, he's been showing up, so. He, he's probably lurking. But anyway, it's Now so you funny. have to share it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the tea? That sounds like something Kenzie would say. She said that to me once. I was like, oh, my gosh, you're not going to believe this. And she goes, oh, spell the tea, Mom, or what's the, the tea? tea? And I'm like, tea? It's like gossip. Oh. It means gossip. Resting B word face is what yeah. RBF stands yeah. for. I didn't know that. I had to ask her that. <laughs> but uh, uh, there it is. Uh, Aquarium background tape cleared that up. And Stephen P. Of course, Stephen P. knows because he knows all oh. the foul language. I saw. I saw it. <laughs> I showed him Stephen P. I, I told. I saw what you told me to do to <laughs> shut the <laughs> dag on up. I saw that. Yeah. I thought we well, were not was, our friends. It was hilarious. I, I showed him the next day and I was like, now you need to understand if you're not used to the way he is on his streams. <laughs> and then I showed him and he goes and he just starts laughing. It was hilarious. Now, folks, Stephen P is a is a large fella. And I don't mean fat. I mean, he's like eight foot, four inches tall. <laughs> uh, but my first reaction when she read that to me or showed me that I said, well, you know what? I'm good friends with Joey, and he's organizing that fight. Maybe I can get an extra fight put on the card, and me <laughs> and Stephen P. can go in there and figure things out. <laughs> but, no, I didn't. I laughed because that was funny, it and was I like hilarious. when if, people tell me to shut the F up. <laughs> I, wish, I wish everybody could just be like that and people not get offended. Just Wouldn't this be a, a, an easier <laughs> world to live in if it were true? If, right. if we could have that, it would be a beautiful thing. Oh, my gosh. All right. I tell you what, though. I do want to say something else. Say it. The grocery it. store today. <laughs> I witnessed so many Karens 
it made me want to shop online. It was terrible. <laughs> it, it was so bad today between the Karens and then the guy that decided he needed to walk down the aisle and very loudly discuss on the phone with somebody how court went today. By the way, he's appealing, but it was just, <laughs> I, whew, what a day at the grocery store. And then the person that tried to hit me, not with their fists, but when I was turning, I put my blinker on to take a left and they decided to come up around me to go around me. I was, oh, I just, today is a bad people day for me. That's why I told her this is why we just don't leave the house. We stay here because we know if we piss each other off, we can just walk into another room and, and not worry about it anymore. I'll just text them and complain about you. You think she's kidding. She's telling you the truth. All right, let's get into. <laughs> SN. <laughs> let's get into the, uh, do we have a date for the fight? I, I don't. Uh, I'm not off the top of my head. I know it's in August. I know it's in New York. That's all I know. Uh, and it's because things have still been developing, you know, so I don't know uh, exactly when it is. But it's August and it does not conflict with Aquashella. Joey actually said he was very specific about making sure that it was set up that way. So, all right. Now, today's main topic is supposed to be fun. There's been a lot of people mm -hmm. in the chat, even before the chat started, that get the total wrong idea behind the game I'm trying to play here today. I did put it in the description, but I can't type out a long story as a title for the video. You can only do like... 250 numbers or what letters or whatever it is. So I did put it in the description though, the kind of idea that I'm talking about here for the topic on this video, you have a thousand dollars to spend. But what we didn't talk about in the title of the video was how we came to have that thousand dollars. And here's what it is. Let's just, let's, let's make up a scenario. Okay. Let's you, play a game. Let's play a game. <laughs> you got offered an amazing new job or maybe you're retired and you got offered a really good deal on a new house in, you know, all the way across the country, whatever it is, there is something that's causing you to move all the way across the country or maybe like from Chicago to Tennessee. Sure. There you go. We know somebody that'll be making that move a long move. Our move was three and a half hours. It yeah. was horrible. Horrible. Anybody that's going to move all the way across the country, I feel for you. But one thing I know for absolute certain, if that type of scenario was to happen with us and we were going to have to move to California, which is the furthest away from us mm -hmm. that you can possibly get. Probably. Maybe Washington. I would not be transporting aquariums. I wouldn't do it. Me either. I've spent the better part of the last, what, how many years? 15 years almost? accumulating all of these tanks okay most of them are the last like eight years but anyway spent a lot of time accumulating these tanks i would not i have a sentimental attachment to them but i still would not want to transport these all the way across the country and with the fish and with all of that so the scenario is you're moving across country and you sell all of your fish stuff because like me you do not want to move across country with all your aquariums. So you sell everything off and you have nothing as far as fish keeping goes. You're not quitting the hobby. You're not looking to get away from it. You just don't want to transport all that stuff from point A to point B. So you do that. You sell all of your stuff and I hope you get more than a thousand dollars for it, but you get a thousand dollars for selling all of your fish keeping equipment. Now you're at the new place now it's time to start back up again. You've got $1,000 in your hand. That's all you can spend to start from scratch. What are you going to do with that $1,000? That is what I'm talking about. There were people that are like, I'd invest it and have it go towards my retirement. I'm like, that's not what I meant. I'm not saying I'm going to give you $1,000. Do whatever you want. Somebody said uh, it may have been even been Kalen Shepard. I'd put it towards bills. It's like, no, that's not fun. Not I want to have fun. It has to be, 
has to be for an aquarium or right. something aquarium related. And it can't be, well, I would take the tanks that I have now and I would use all the thousand dollars for fish. No, you're starting from scratch. So I'm asking you, the, the viewing audience, 844,000 people watching right now, what would you do? I don't care if you're a multimillionaire, Elon Musk, if you're watching this, I don't care if it's you, whatever your situation is, you have a thousand dollars and that's all you can spend. What would you do with that money? Hmm. Uh, down payment on a full water box setup. Now see, that's not fun either. Come on. I want you to have a setup. I want yeah. you to be ready to go with that thousand dollars. And unlike usually when we usual, when we do these things, I want you to go first. So, okay. I hate people who start sentences with so, and so, she just did it. So, yeah, I did that. I <laughs> would go to PetSmart and buy, I, I looked it up because they have this. Sorry, Kaylin, I thought it was you. My bad. They it's have this bad. on sale right now. So, to start off with, this is what I would do. I would go to PetSmart and I would get the Marine Land 75-gallon tank with stand and LED lights for five ninety nine. right. That's what I would do. Um, so you got your tank stand lights. And I did say if I could only have one tank, was the last week or the week before, it would be a 75 gallon. So that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. um, that leads me to $400. I'd get substrate and plants. Uh, the plants that I would get, I would get some plants that get a little taller in the back, like the hydrophilia, the bacopa, Ludwigia. Uh, then I'd have some of your mid plants, a variety of the crypts. I like a lot of different crypts, so I would have a variety of that. That's pushing probably $200 just to kind of put something in there. But then I would use sponge filters. I would have a sponge filter on either side. So I have to get a sponge filter, airline tubing, air pump. I don't know, $50, $60 sure. there. Um, just so you know, I have exact numbers for my I stuff. didn't I'm because I, I thought the most important thing is to know the um, tank size. So far, you would have money left. So you're doing fine. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. So, and I wouldn't rush it. I would let my plants, you know, fill in and, and grow and, you know, take my time. Oh, that light just went out. Mm -hmm. Because once that's all grown, not all grown, but I'd give it a couple months to fill in and stuff. I would use my experience from having fish before to determine what I'm going to stock it with. So this is where... I probably spend the least amount of money. I would get two female fat guppies. <laughs> I would get two. Preferably from Diana Wallstead. <laughs> two mystery snails and six cherry shrimp. And then I know that Within probably. Three months. Yeah, a few months. Things are going to start happening. The plants are going to be growing even more. I'm going to have little fry everywhere probably some teeny tiny little snail eggs starting to uh, hatch. So I'll have little mystery snails here and there. Red, red cherry shrimp everywhere. And I would have, I'd have a beautiful tank in like six months, just with patience. And then I'd be like, does anybody want any guppies? Does anybody <laughs> want any snails? I've got cherry shrimp, so. On that note, I haven't shown you, not you, mm -hmm. but you, you see it all the time, my bathroom tank in a while. But that tank is a perfect example of exactly what Lisa Marie is talking about right now. Because it is completely full of everything she just talked about. <laughs> yeah, and the guppies that I threw in there just have extra stuff going on in there and they're so amazing in there I love they're them. all males i threw what like 10 male guppies in there and then there's eight of the danios that i put in originally yeah because a couple jumped out like yeah. they were like Psh, and jumped out no there's six I, I originally put in eight and two of them have jumped out and then little I teeny put, gap i put in there six cherry shrimp and now there's like 347 
<laughs> it's true. And here's the thing about that. See, I walk in there. That tank right now, uh, it, it, let me just tell you, the plants look amazing. If you go back to the video that I did, where uh, it's called the Izzy tank, and it, it has me like cross-eyed on the thumbnail. It's a really dumb thumbnail, but uh, it's called the Izzy tank, which I did right after our granddaughter was born. Um, and Lucas Bretz, I had to break his balls because Lucas Bretz commented, oh, gee, I wonder what it's going to look like in three months or whatever. Well, let me tell you what it looks like in three months, Lucas. Yeah. I had to break his balls when I saw him <laughs> at, uh, at the Aquatic, Aquatic Expo. Expo. Um, it looks amazing. However, there is an infestation of hair algae that's grown completely but, across the substrate, but it's full of shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp love it. I'm leaving it. I just, <laughs> I let it do its thing on the substrate and I just take it off of anything else if it's, you know, a problem. But, and I told him, don't touch that tank. Leave it she alone. She stopped me. She, I, she won't let me work on it. Because he was in there trying to like vacuum the substrate and do all that. And I was like, stop, 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 stop. I'll take water out and I put water in. She acts like I don't know how to take care of an aquarium. I was reviewing products off of the internet and I used that tank to do that. And she got mad at me. I it was one mad. time, one time. Still. And then the three or four days later, I sent Jay Wilson to the emergency room. It was right around that time. But, uh, but that tank's doing amazing. The plants have grown in. There's been a couple plants that have not done as well but um but even like the abusive philandra has grown in really well it's doing it's so doing good. really really good and uh there is so much life in that tank it is absolutely I ridiculous now there's a couple of people that have some good ideas here uh aquarium background tape is a smart businessman because he found a way or she i i don't know uh to incorporate his business into this which is brilliant well done a uh, 75 gallon tank Canopies, DIY wood stand, canister fluval FX6. That's big time. Um, and that's almost half your budget. <laughs> Nycru 24 inch lights. Boo, you should go with the Higers. Carob Sea Eco Complete Black. Nice. Red Cherry Shrimp. Mm. Aquarium background pack of aquarium background tape. You see what he did there? That is genius. $999.70. No, that's not how much the aquarium background tape costs. That's his total and that's hey that is making good use of the money 970 999 dollars and 70 cents mine is a little further from that but uh mine doesn't include buying fish we'll talk about mine in a minute um stephen p said i do a high tech but reasonable 40 breeder setup and if i have any money left i'd tell john to go for oh i'm just kidding uh i'd have <laughs> any money left i'd get some cheap 10 gallon sponge fillers Sponge filter setups. There you go. Um, a high, super high tech 40 breeder. You can spend $1,000 on that and not have any money left to get 10 gallon sponge filters. Sure. Uh, I also like Zen Ginger's strategy. She said, likes are down, folks. Do your job. <laughs> I like that. That's clever. Uh, all right, listen. Let me go through what I would do. Because... I think everybody in here that's watching this right now, 912,000 people are watching this now. They all know exactly what it is that I'm going to say. Um, because you're looking at it. You're looking at exactly what I would do just on a significantly smaller scale. I had to call uh, a friend of mine that happens to own a fish store today. Not call him, but text him. Did you really? Uh, what? To find out how much stuff costs, you called him? No, to find out what the aquarium costs. And if I'm being honest, it kind of blew my mind because I, I remember and listen, I'm not I'm not saying that he's overcharging people or anything like that. Glass boxes are super expensive right now and it's ridiculous. Uh, I went to where we can buy the tanks and I saw what I can buy them for. But that's not fair. Uh, that doesn't, you know, help anybody figure out what they would do with the money. And, it, and I had no way of knowing how much it is that stores are charging. So I, I texted him, texted Mark from Aquariums Unlimited, and he said 125 gallon is $555 now just for the glass box. I am absolutely not saying uh, Mark is ripping anybody off, but I am gonna say 
that's ridiculous how much tanks have gone up because I remember when we were when we got Ike when did we get Ike 2017 yeah 2017 I remember being at PetSmart we went PetSmart the day I got my male chihuahua we went there that night on our way home from the breeder and there was a complete setup 125 gallon lids lights and a stand for three hundred and fifty dollars, and and that was not a special price. It was like a, a bundle price, three hundred fifty dollars. Now just the glass box is five fifty five. Outrageous! It's outrageous. Everything is more expensive these days. A thousand dollars in the fish keeping hobby ten years ago would go a lot farther than it does now. A year ago would have gone a lot farther than it does now. So I would start with that one hundred twenty five gallon. Oh, I think. There's a lot of people in here that have made good suggestions about going like on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. I mean, if the right thing comes along, that's what you want at the moment, then yeah, that's perfect. But I do remember searching for aquariums back in the day when we were starting a fish store and it takes a lot of time to sit there and like search and search every day waiting for something to pop up and it happens it will happen you can definitely find good deals but if you're not a patient person you want the tank now to get it started then you know well it's it's definitely true that uh going to those it used to be craigslist uh back yeah. when we were doing that now it would be facebook marketplace it is a that is a great way to do it. I am talking more. I'm gonna go buy everything brand new. Yeah. That's what I'm doing here. The reality is, when people want out of this hobby, they want out now, and they really usually you don't find people selling aquarium stuff for what they could. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those 125s. I don't know which one it is because they're both the same. Uh, I bought. For $400 complete setup with substrate background of two, what were they, uh, Aqua Clears, Aqua Clear 110s. It had lights, it had lids. It was like, take it home, fill it with water, fire it up, and you're good to go. $400 for a 125 with the stand and everything else. Um, that was in 2010 that I bought that. Never had one leak in that tank either, by the way. Uh, so buying used is really not a problem because so many of the people that are selling tanks used are probably selling them within the first year of buying them because they go through what so many fish keepers do. They get in, they're so excited. It's the coolest thing ever. And then eight months later, their fish start dying off and they lose interest and they move on and they start throwing darts in their office or whatever, and they don't care. And since this tank is taking up so much space, they just want to get rid of it and get it out. Now, I can, I can remember specifically the guy I bought that tank from was not that guy. He had upgraded to an eight-foot tank mm -hmm. in his living room, very similar to this, uh, eight-foot. It was eight by two by two, which is 240, um, and it was sitting up really high. Like, it was way off the ground. Like, it, it was kind of intimidating, but he had it built into the wall and everything. It was really, really cool. So that tank and the stand and everything else was just taking up space in his garage he just wanted it out there and he sold it for a good price so you absolutely can get a good deal on facebook marketplace but like she said you do have to have patience but let's get back, get back into having fun with me here and my ideas another thing that uh has certainly gone up in price over the last couple of years uh lumber lumber is stupid but I checked today and it's not as bad as I thought. If I'm going to go and I'm just going to buy two by fours to make a stand for 125s, which you should really use two by sixes, but uh, about $35 for the lumber to do that. Uh, just two by fours. You want to upgrade that to uh, two by sixes, which is what you should do, which is what I did there. Um, it blows the budget. So we can't talk about that right now. So... So far, I have a 555 gallon brand spanking new sparkling 
125 with lids and a 35 dollars for the lumber to make a DIY stand, which I've done a thousand times. Two Title 110s. Why two Title 110s? Because they're the best thing on the back filter there is. And an FX6 would not be in the budget. Not even close. Because an FX6 is going to be $300. And now we've, we've busted our nut on just the tank and the filter. Which is smart. But we only have $1,000 to work with here. Might as well go with the next best thing. Two Title 110s. $91.34 each. That is by Seachem Law. So you're not going to get arrested for this, but by Seachem Law, that is the cheapest anyone is allowed to sell it, which is what I sell it for. $91.34 times two is $182.68. Then, what do you think I'm going to get for a heater? Of course. It's a no-brainer. I'm not doing an advertisement here. I'm just saying, if I'm going to set up a tank, I'm going to set it up with my favorite stuff, which is what we carry on our website, Scuba Contactless 400 Watt for $59.99. Put it in there, set it, forget it, you're done. And there's no one else in the industry, folks. No one. Try to find one, I dare you, that is going to warranty a heater for five years. I would normally suggest multiple heaters in case one fails then you have a backup um i'm not worried about that in this case because C uh, cj is giving you five years yep that's that's a truck loan five years ain't nobody else doing that they're warranting them for a year because they know their heaters suck and they're going to break so 60 bucks gets us the 400 watt heater uh now the lights I'm going to use are not my favorite. They're really, really good, and I like them a lot. You're actually looking at, a, at two tanks that have these lights on them right now, and they look absolutely gorgeous. They are behind my beautiful wife. Uh, those two tanks have the Higer lights on them that we sell on our website. Oh, you can't put that in your budget. Oh, no, Higer. Oh, I thought you meant Kessel. I no. wasn't listening. Like, See, that's that's what I was going to say, was that my favorite lights, I don't make any money saying this. It's it's not even a matter of my favorite. The best aquarium lights on the planet are from Kessel. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are. I'll say it to your face. Nobody makes a better aquarium light than Kessel. But. And you also like the other ones, the Luma lights. I do. Too. Sure. And I like the Fluval 3.0s, but they're not as good as Kessel's. Kessel has the best light on the market, but they're like three fifty dollars a piece. I'm not fitting that into a $1,000 budget. I'm not going to spend $700. Exactly. It would actually be more than that because you'd really want to have three of them. Uh, absolutely way, way out of the budget, but cannot be argued. Kessel has the best lights out there. You got to pay for them. And you got to pay big for them, but you know, you got to pay a lot for uh, a, a Rolls Royce too, but you get what you pay for, right? But I can't afford those because I only have $1,000. So I'm going to go with the Higer um, two 36 inches, which are, they're actually, the fixtures are 34 inches, but those are $58.99 a piece for a total of $117.98, which takes us to, with the tank lids, lumber for the stand. I'm not charging any time to build it. Uh, <laughs> the two Title 110s, the 400 watt heater, the two 36 inch lights, uh, that comes to a total of $950.65. But then we have some more stuff that we have to do, right? I ain't gonna worry about decor. I'm not gonna worry about putting decorations in there. Maybe I'll go out in the yard, pick up a few rocks, pick up a piece of wood. I'll go down to the beach, pick up a oh. piece of wood and boil it and, and put it in there, that's free. Uh, but we're going to want some substrate in there. And because we are so close on budget, I would use my least favorite substrate. Sand. Play sand. Ugh. Because that's all I can afford. In a perfect world, I would use this. The Carib Sea Jungle. Uh, I, I love it. What is the actual name of it? It's right Is here. It? Not the Jungle River. 
No, because that's what mine is. Supernaturals, Peace River, and Jungle River, I think. I have two mixed in there. That's what I would want to use because that's been the best substrate for the fish that I have in this tank. It's been the easiest to deal with, and I love it very much, and it looks really good. But my budget is already, I'm already at nine fifty. I only got mm. $49.35 left. So what are you going to buy, a baby Oscar? I'm not there yet. You're going to get you, two baby Oscars. You wait you? a minute. You wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spend $8 a bag. For You're going to get baby feeder fish. You're going to get goldfish. You're going to get baby feeder fish. No. I know it. Hold on. We'll get there. We got to put substrate in it. I'm going to put my least favorite substrate for these fish. I'm not telling you play sand is bad. I'm saying it's bad for these hogs that I have in here. So I, I would hate it. Oops, I gave it away. I would hate the, the play sand, but that's all I can afford. $8 a bag times three, $24. I know that math because I play darts. And that takes us to a grand total of nine seventy four sixty five. And then this is what I would do. Feeder goldfish. Mark Kornberg has become a good friend of mine. He's the owner of Aquariums Unlimited. I would go up to him and I would say, Mark, listen, we're friends. We, we've, we've gone out to dinner together. We've, you know, we've hung out a lot. It's great. Um, I'm going to need your help here. <laughs> He's going to be like, didn't I buy your wife a catio already? <laughs> <laughs> need a little bit more help. I don't know if I would need any help, though. That's just the thing. Because you hit it on the head. I would want to get two baby Oscars, maybe three. What do we have? $26 left in the budget. Mm. It's not going to go very far. I've seen small angels, angels, uh, small Oscars for like $8 a piece. Uh, and I would just buy the smallest Oscars I would need to buy to be able to afford at least two. But ultimately I'd love to start with three. Um, and if, if I can find them for $8 a piece, if I could say to my friend Mark, I could say, hey, listen, I just spent 550 on a tank with you, and now I'm back to get fish. Can I get those three baby Oscars that are only this big for $24? Can you help a brother out? And can you throw some food in there because I'm <laughs> broke now? Uh, no, I just feed them table scraps or something to get them by until I have more money. But that's that's what I would do. Table. Uh, and I would hope that there would be an, enough left to get the three baby Oscars. <clears throat> if I can only do two, that's fine. And then wait till payday and get the third one. That's fine. No, but that's what I would do. <laughs> Did you include tax? That's what Matt wants to know. Uh, no, because yeah, you might only want one ten. We're having a, we're having a conversation that does not involve the government. Okay, <laughs> let's not spoil it by involving the government in our talk here. Um, oh wait, who's that? Rounded Rob, quick Crete, all-purpose gravel, $6 for a 50-pound bag. See, there we go. There's the extra money right there. I would go with that. I've never seen it. I don't know what it is, but we would use that, only get two of them. So we just saved $12. There's the extra money for Oscar number three. Boom. And food. There it is. We don't need food. I'll throw cat food in there, or I'll, I'll throw dog food in there until, we, until I get the money to buy fish food. So that's what I so would do. That's, how, that's what you're telling people to do to take care of Oscars is to feed them cat food. No, but I'm saying if you have no other option, you got to do what you got to do. We had that lady in our shop that came in. She was as sweet as can be. Oh, yeah. She was an, an elderly lady. She, and she came in and talked yeah. about how she spoiled her Oscar and fed her Oscar. Cat food and hot dogs. Cat food and hot dogs. <laughs> once a, at so least funny. once a week, she would cut up a hot dog and throw hot dogs in there. For, I, don't, I think she said she didn't give him the skin though or something didn't she it was just like i don't know but she talked like about that. that kid like it was her grandchild or something she loved it um uh, so to wrap up 125 gallon glass box which takes up more than half the budget uh diy stand two title 110s a scuba 400 watt heater uh two 36 inch hikers some quick crete gravel whatever and uh, it looks like regular gravel I don't know if I'd like that, but we'll talk about that. And then three, hopefully three baby Oscars. There you go. That's, that's what I would do. Uh, now, in reality, I wouldn't do that at all. <laughs> because 
when I came up with this idea and I said, let's do a thousand dollars and see, I was thinking that 125s were still three, 325, 350. So I was like, I'm going to have all kinds of room in there. I can do a, a background like this, a, you know, a piece from Universal Rocks like that. And I can do the Carib Sea uh, gravel and, you know, really deck this thing out really, really nice because I would have $700, $650 to spend on all of that stuff. But, uh, but it doesn't work like that. I just think it's <laughs> funny because earlier you were like, I hope you didn't, you know, steal my idea and do the same thing. I just think that's funny that you thought that I would do that. Well, I mean, you knew I was going to take Oscars, so I don't know why I would have wanted yeah. to do that. But, uh, but yeah, that's, you know, our, our two tanks could not be any different. Yeah, very much different. Mine would have plants, yours wouldn't. I no, no. Have, I would have little teeny fish and you would have big fish. Hmm. But here's the thing. See, we just solved the problem. See, because... Now, don't get mad at me no, now. Don't, no, hey. you are not using my baby guppies to feed your Oscars. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the guppies. I'm talking about the shrimp. You're going to have more shrimp than you need. Not right away. Your so, Oscars are going to be hungry. In the beginning, when we don't have money to buy fish food, you got some extra shrimps in there. Wow. Throw them shrimps in there. That's the, the whole purpose for only getting six is to fill them in. I know, and and then when they fill in, but but in you reality, get a second job, and you feed your <laughs> damn Oscars. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do. Uh, did I say what three Oscars I would get? I hey, listen, it's no big mystery. I would get exactly what I have now. I'd get an albino, mm. a, an albino tiger, a regular tiger, and a red. And if it was a perfect world, I would have in this tank a fourth one. It would be an albino red. I would have the standard and albino of both the tigers and the reds that's what i would have those are my favorite ones mm -hmm. i like the lemons i like the blacks i like i, I don't have any I, I haven't seen the blue ones apparently there's blue ones out apparently there's blue ones now <laughs> i don't i haven't seen those but uh but yeah i i'm a traditionalist when it comes to oscars reds and tigers They're i'm so all over cute it over there what are they doing posing hmm. so that's what i would do and i think it would be fun uh i use sand and pea gravel cheap and easy pea gravel is very cheap uh, that is absolutely true pea gravel around the same price as quick creep yeah that that's very true i didn't even think about that because i had to buy some pea gravel recently to put around the pond and uh oh, yeah let me tell you something about that pond Boy, did oh. is that White Kitty? Yeah, White Kitty's at the door. Hmm. Oh, we had Carl's at the other door. Oh, we had a terrifying storm come through here. Yeah, it was on, pretty bad. Was it was on? It wasn't yesterday. It was Tuesday, right? Oh, was it Tuesday or yesterday? Tuesday. Whatever day it was, uh, you probably heard about it on uh, whatever. But I, we were out in the barn working. And I came back in and the wind was like, uh, I've never experienced wind like that in my life. It was crazy. It was, it was scary. I was like looking at the roof, like, I hope my roof doesn't blow off. Well, it was scary. the roof started to blow off the barn. I know. We lost some pieces of the barn, but uh, we lost some pieces of the metal roof of the barn on the lean-tos, not the main roof. And those were coming off anyway. But I got up to the pond and the pond was completely full of leaves i've never had it like that i've gone out there during a storm uh in the early fall when leaves were just starting to fall and so they were falling big and we've got sycamore trees out there that have leaves that are this big yeah. and it was there was a lot of leaves in there but it wasn't a big deal it took me three minutes to get them all out this time it was packed and i was like oh my god there's gonna be dead fish in here like it was it was horrifying. I uh, I have a 12 inch Seachem fishnet, 12 by 12, um, that I taped duct ta or electrical taped to the end of an old broomstick, and mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I use to get leaves out of my pond because instead of going and buying a pond. Bag. I know, but I'm cheap. What do you want me to say? <laughs> um, I used that, and the nice thing about it 
is that I could just scoop up the leaves, hold the net up, and just shake it a little bit, and all the leaves would just blow yeah, away. Yeah, the wind would just blow it <laughs> They'd away. just carry them away. They're gone in the back of the property. So it was, uh, but it was an adventure. Yeah. Uh, there was a shoe in the pond. I, <laughs> a shoe? A shoe. Okay. I had a pair of work shoes, not dress shoes, but they're Merrell's. They're old hiking shoes that I would use for working around the yard. A while back, I stepped in poop, dog poop. Gross. I don't even know what dog it came from because our dogs are behind a fence, and this was outside of the fence. And I took those shoes off on the porch, and they've been sitting there ever since. It's been like a long time. Did and you find the other shoe? Yeah, it's in the yard. Oh. And the second one was in the, the pond. pond. The pond. Oh. So the, the koi and the goldfish had to sit there and smell my stinky feet for however long. It was, mm -hmm. it was pretty, pretty sad. What's happening here? Yeah, and there were limbs everywhere. Gosh, it was crazy. I it think we crazy. may have lost you for a minute there. Hopefully everything is back. Uh, it, you know what? It must be remnants of the storm. Hopefully you're still with us. Um, I'm still getting. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, so anyway. I bet. I bet nobody's saying buffering. I wonder why. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see what everybody else is talking about. I need to put curtains on that. Oh. Because it really distracts me every time a car drives by. Oh. Uh, Kalen Shepard came in very early and said, if we're talking, see, he, th this is what I was talking about earlier. If we're talking about a thousand all in, I would get my Oscar tank. If we're talking 1K in just fish, I would start a reef. Ooh. And then somebody right after that said something about paying bills. That's why I attached that to Kalen Shepard. I didn't mean that. Um, but yeah, we're talking all in. And my friend, you and I could be good friends because you said Oscar tank. So you're talking my language there. Uh, Avery Stevens, the biggest Platy fan in the world, <laughs> said, Sna uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Snails got to me safe and sound. They go well with my favorite little live bears, mosquito fish. Thanks for the business. Oh. Good. Now, he's in North Carolina, I believe. Yeah. So yes. that doesn't surprise me that they got to you safely. Thank you. Uh, and, and just so everybody knows, the... Uh, the post office saga has not yet been resolved oh my completely. Gosh, <laughs> Did, didn't somebody say that they looked up their tracking today and it said that the their package said they were in another country? It is funny, yeah. Uh, but so yeah, they weren't really. Obviously, we they couldn't be. But the that's crazy. the with our website, uh, if you have the shop app, um, you. It shows in the shop app your order from us. And that's a really easy way to track it and everything else. If you don't have the shop app, you should get it. It's really good uh, because a lot of websites use it. And uh, on that shop app, for some reason, it showed her, and she sent me a screenshot. It showed that it was in, like, Bermuda. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but then I went to the actual U USPS um, tracking, and it's in Richmond. It, it's uh, not. I don't know why funny. that happened. But... Uh, but we did have this week um, a bit of an adventure. Oh, Monday. <laughs> I was so tired. We had <laughs> folks, and I'm not, I'm not trying to bra brag here. We had more orders that we had to fulfill that day than we've ever had in one day in our entire careers. Yes. It was out of control. And it was... It was not like all of a sudden all these orders came in. There were orders that were piling up because of the issues that we were having with the Postal Service. Because of holidays. Yeah. And it was still my understanding, my hope that they were going to be going back to the old system. I was hoping that they were going to do that. We got as many orders as we could packed up. Uh, or actually, I'm telling this wrong. I don't even, I'm getting mixed up because I talked to the postmaster that day. We knew the truck wasn't going to be coming until 6 a.m. the following morning. So we had the bright idea. Let's take as many orders as we can right now, come back home, finish packing everything, and then take them back at 530 in the morning, mm. the next morning. 
Wow. Which is exactly what we did. And let me tell you. Very busy day Monday. I and Tuesday. This guy don't get up at 5:30 in the morning. Mm. And she definitely don't. No. Uh so but we were packing orders till like 10:30 at night. Monday and then night. took them at uh at, at 5:30 the next morning. And then I had to redo it all over again on Tuesday, but it just wasn't quite as <laughs> yeah, and we didn't have to go there five something in the morning the next day after that. But, but yeah, it's been a, a crazy, crazy week. Uh, thank you to everyone that ordered from us that has been patiently waiting because of the fiasco that we were having with the Postal Service. As I said, when we went uh, at 530 in the morning, or it was like 615 by the time we got there, mm-hmm. uh, it's right down the street, but we had to get up and wash our butts and then go put all of the orders in the van and then all drive over there, whatever. It was like 6.15 and the postmaster was there, the one that I spoke to a couple weeks ago. And he said, he gave me an update. I can't really talk publicly about what's going on, but he gave me an update and it made me kind of maybe possibly feel a little bit better about it. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, but It didn't make me feel better at six o'clock in the morning. No, that's true. Uh, it surprised me at how bubbly and happy everybody was that was in there that morning. I was like, what's wrong with you people? It's too early to be happy. Mm. I don't like happy people in the morning. <laughs> no, I'm, I like them to be happy to me. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, well, it would be way worse if they were not. Avery Stevens came in again and said, I'll buy $1,000 of equipment, but not $1,000 worth of fish. So he doesn't need to because he likes fish that are like 3 $4. Because he likes platies and he likes snails and he likes shrimp. So his, the, 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 uh, the, the fish end of things is going to be very cheap. He could probably find the money in the couch to buy a couple of his favorite Mickey Mouse platies or something like that yeah. because platies are awesome, right? David Hampton became a member. Welcome to the team, yeah, my friend. Yeah. Whips World, I'm literally going to be in this position in the next few years. I'm not moving my tanks from Chicago to Tennessee. I'd buy the biggest tank 1,000 could buy hoping it would be at least 200 gallons. So um, it probably wouldn't be, (laughs) but maybe off Facebook or something like that, maybe you could, and then you might just be sitting there staring at it empty for a while until you can buy fish. But uh, it sure would look good. Hmm. I mean, if you got a 200 gallon. I think by the time he does move down there, he'll probably have something lined up for that to happen. Knowing him, he probably will. Yeah. Uh, Finsanity said, I'd buy John's 240 since he's selling it all then to buy a ton of wood. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to start again. Okay. I'd buy John's 240 since he's selling it all then buy a ton of wood. Wait, no, I'd buy his stand too since he's selling it too. Then go buy an Asian arowana. So what's happening is Joe's living in fantasy land. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah, we do that sometimes. <laughs> because ain't none of my 240s for sale. I'm sitting here looking at all three of them right now. You can only see two of them. And they're all my prizes. And ain't no way. Ain't no way. You ain't coming up here with $1,000 and expect to take one of these tanks away um, unless we win the lottery and we just have to move. Yeah, we talked about that before, too. Oh, it just said we're offline. I don't know what keeps happening to my computer here. I need. I, I don't know what's happening. But I'm just going to keep talking as if it's normal. Uh, But again, it might still be remnants of the storm. April Butler came in with a $5 hippopotamus sticker super chat thing. Thank you. It's adorable. Thank you so much for that. Uh, That is always very well appreciated. Melissa Jaswald, also with the $5, I'd send you. She said, I'd send you to $1,000 and see what you send me. We would send you. A bag of fish food and one of my yellow labs. <laughs> Stop. No, no. Buddy, I wouldn't let him do that, Melissa. No. What? The circle. It's playing for me. Oh, it was circling for me. Uh, I don't know what's happening here, folks, with the signal tonight, um, but you don't need to let me know in the chat. I'm well no, aware. They're all, they know. They're saying <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Aquarium background tape gifted one kg tropicals membership Thank i do think it's much. it's important to mention that we did get a package from him uh 
we're not wow. setting up any tanks at the moment, so we did not get to utilize his product yet. However, I will say this. The packaging was as beautiful as I've seen on any product ever. And I don't know if that was the way you were presenting it to us or if that's how you're going to be doing it to everybody that buys your product, but that was absolutely first class. It was beautiful. And uh, when we set up a tank that's going to have that kind of a background on it, we'll use it and we will report back to you. As a matter of fact, we got another product that we might be setting up a tank for and perhaps yeah. we will do that. And I'm going to break the news here, folks. Yeah, we need to get a 30 gallon. I'm going to break the news. Breaking news. I got sent a product yesterday or the day before. And this might be inappropriate for me to say this, but I'm going to say to you what I said to my beautiful wife when I opened up the box. Oh, yeah. You, you were so excited. I said, oh, that's sexy as hell. He that did. was my first words. He said that. And I was like, what? And I think this might be the first product. I haven't used it yet, but I can't imagine that it wouldn't work well. Why? Because it's fluval? Because it's fluval. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, I can see us selling this product. I can see it being the first fluval product that we carry. Um, and, and, and us not carrying fluval products has nothing to do with fluval products. It just has to do with numbers and, and all of that kind of stuff. They make some of the best products in the world. We just don't happen to carry any of their products yet. Uh, they are releasing, I don't think it's available yet. And I don't even know if I've got permission to talk about it yet. I think I do. They're, oh, as a matter of fact, I know I do because it's on their website. They are releasing a new CO2 system for planted aquariums that is going to change everything. If you're into planted aquariums, you've probably seen the bio... CO2 systems, where you mix a little bit of this and you put the yeast in it and you put some sugar in it and you get this chemical reaction and it creates CO2. Every single one of those systems I've ever seen, Tropica even has one, every one of them I've seen is basically just like a stream of CO2 that comes out of it. It's not regulated. You can't control it. You can't turn it off. It's just spraying constantly. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that's one of the reasons why we don't have a system like that on our website because it would make sense we sell plants we sell more plants than we sell anything else on our website it would make sense for us to have something like that but we didn't pick it up for that reason but this fluval system though i don't have pricing yet i don't know how much this stuff is going to sell for or how much the refills are going to sell for but i know that the canister itself is sexy as hell and it's got a drip uh, regulator on it. It is, it is a beautiful, beautiful system like all Fluval products are. And if it works as good as it looks, look out. Hmm. Because this is gonna be the solution that every person has been looking for to be able to provide their planted aquariums with CO2 because it's a hassle. I've got a CO2 system. It's a good system, it works, it does very well, mm -hmm. but it cost a fortune to set it up. I was setting it up for eight tanks. Well, that's why. That, well, no, I mean, it would have cost the same because the canister is the most expensive oh, thing. Oh, that's right, yeah. You gotta go to a welding shop and you, the, the amount of money that you have to pay for a, a canister of CO2, the, the tank of CO2 is a fortune the first time. And then when you go to get them refilled, it's not as much because you're basically buying the big uh, tank. So I think it was like 350. Oh. And, and it's like a, it's not a huge um, tank of CO2. And then it's like $60 every time we refill it, which the refills, that's, I mean, $60 like every three or four months, that's doable for eight tanks. If it was just one tank, that, that canister would probably last a year. Mm. But the thing with this fluval system is that it is, you buy recharges that are yeast and some other stuff and you mix it together and you put sugar in it and water and you have CO2 and that's how it works. Hmm. And so it's like baking a cake. Yeah. And it, it's all very clearly. Making biscuits. 
That's right. Uh, not pizza dough, but uh, <laughs> not pizza dough. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> but it looks like it's a very simple system to use. I wanted to put it on my bathroom tank. She told me I'm not allowed to do it. So we may be setting up a tank specifically because for why? that. It, the plants are growing perfectly fine. Why would you add that to it? Let's just start something new and fiddle around. Because it's with right it. there and it's easy right. and Let's I can just look start at a it. New tank and do it like that. I can look at it all the time and just yeah. look at it. But I just want to escape a tank. That's not that one. <laughs> Shocker! It would be made all about Lisa. But but no, listen. That that system. I'm not trying to sell you that system because I don't sell it. But. Um, it's available in three different sizes. I don't know what they are, but one of them, the big one, is for a 125 gallon tank, and it looks exactly like you think it would look. It looks like a beautiful piece of equipment that you expect from Fluval. It's gorgeous. It's got the Fluval branding on it. Uh, it has the the drip emitter on the top, and it, and it has a the big one has a solenoid valve in it, so you can turn it off. It's beautiful. You would expect nothing less from Fluval. I would imagine it's going to work perfectly because almost every single Fluval product I've ever used does. I can't wait to try it out. And if it works as good as I think it's going to, we might pick it up and sell it on our website. If you can use it. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't say it. No, don't. That's what we should do. Let you use it. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. <laughs> She wants to act like I'm not good with mechanical stuff. John, the Lady. Last, do you remember the first CO2 system we got that time? That popping sound? That wasn't scared my fault. Me. It scared me. Sounded like a gunshot. That was one using the little canisters, the like paintball stuff. Anyway, forget about all of that. If it's something, uh, I'm going to end up making a video about it. Uh, and I'm excited about it. Um, unless it's just a piece of trash. I don't think it is. Um, I will, uh, I'll let y'all know about it because it's going to be very cool. Leslie Perry gifted five KG Tropicals memberships. Thank you, Leslie. That gives everybody access to our bonus features every single Sunday. Don't forget about those folks. Uh, they are there for the taken. And then she came in and said, saw a copper Oscar on a live stream. Forgot whose. It was gorgeous. Do they go by a different name? I think I want one. I don't know. I wonder, was that lighting that made it look copper? Uh, I've never heard of a copper Oscar. I'm not saying they don't exist. I've never heard of one. Um, but you know what? They have yellow ones. Apparently, they have blue ones, apparently. And uh, <laughs> why do you keep saying that? Because I love that little kid. I don't know. What kid? You don't know what I'm talking about? No. She doesn't know the apparently kid. Apparently, I've never been on live television. You don't know that kid? No. Oh, my God. What world do you live in, lady? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Just got a Fluval Aquarium leaking and a hang-on back filter from their 55-gallon kit that broke in the same Ooh. week. I'm not in a good mood at Fluval. Well, wow. geez. Uh, somebody made that tank at 3.30 on a Friday. Ah. I don't know how to explain that. Uh, that's... Um, surprising i mean their their products listen we can't argue it right fluval makes really good products pricey yes mm. fluval 3.0 uh would be on my list of best lights and their heaters are good the aqua clears are good uh that's a product that was started by somebody else and then anyway um at least i think or was it uh, who cares I believe AquaClear actually used to be its own company and then Hagen purchased it and then rebranded it Fluval. I could be wrong about that. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful product. Um, and uh, I love everything they make. I really do. The FX6, you cannot deny the FX heat uh, <laughs> filters. The FX2, the FX4, the FX6, they're all awesome. I'll say it to your face. Should I buy two sponge filters for my 55-gallon tank? Please answer my question because I need help. No, I'm not answering that one. 20-pound uh, cylinder, good uh, regulator, no headaches. Oh. Yeah, buy two sponge filters. <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't know what fish you have, so it's really hard to say if you should buy two sponge filters. I don't know anything else about your setup, so <laughs> it is kind of hard to say yes or no. I was just giving you a hard time, MC Gaming. Um, I don't know why you're so desperate for an answer and need help because that's really not a difficult question to answer. There are people that would say that's the best thing you can do is buy sponge filters for a 55. I'm not one of those people. I think sponge filters work well. I think they do fine, uh, but I think there's better out there. And uh, But, you know, two sponge filters on a 55 gallon will be very cheap and it will work very well. If you're going to be putting Oscars in it, no, you need something more heavy duty than that. But if you're setting up a planted tank with community fish and stuff like that, yeah, knock yourself out. You'll be fine. Uh, I believe, Stephen P., my tank is uh, 20 pound, I think. Um, but I don't know. It's about three feet tall. Mm. And it costs me about $60. Now, I know you live farther south than I do. I'm not going to say where you live, even though you cursed at me the other night so rudely. Um, maybe it's cheaper for you down there, but you said later on it's a dollar a pound. Um Mine cost me 60. So I'm either getting charged three times as much as you or um, my tank's three times bigger than yours. And if I was to find out I have something that's three times bigger than yours, I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> because I would never forget that look on your face when you sat on stage with Lisa and I. That poor bastard looked like he had, oh, why you he that? was about to poop his pants. <laughs> That was so funny, though. I was like, come here. <laughs> Folks, we were at Aquashella. I, it was probably Orlando because that's the closest to where he lives. And uh, maybe it wasn't. Who cares? We were at one of the Aquashellas. We were on stage doing a live stream. And we brought him up because he, he was sitting there and we felt sorry for him. And he was mean to me. I should be able to say these mean things. We felt sorry for him because he didn't look like he had any friends. And we brought him up on stage and he sat like this. <laughs> like didn't know what to do. And he had just done his rap song, whatever. I don't remember what it's called. Sorry, oh, Stephen P. It was the funniest But it was song. hilarious. It was and hilarious. that's why I brought him up because I was a big fan of his music and I was expecting him to be like this outgoing, like, because, but he wasn't, he was very scared <laughs> and it was hilarious. And I thought he was going to poop himself, but he didn't, he handled it pretty well. And the chat just cut out on me again. I have two sponge filters for my 55. They're just there. If I need to cycle a tank fast, that's smart. Uh, I love the idea of running, sponge filters as extra filters in tanks for that purpose. You need to set up a hospital tank, boom, there's your filtration right there. You got it, good to go. Oh, Stephen P said that it was Dallas that he pooped himself. Oh, <laughs> okay. He also said, let's put our tanks on the table and measure. <laughs> uh, he's a big guy, I would imagine. He's anyways, can we carrying Mjolnir on? down there. <laughs> This is. It was nice knowing all of you. <laughs> if you end up unsubscribing, I understand. Just remember, I am not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Edwards said, my girlfriend got me your guys' blue shirt for Christmas, and I love it. It's my Thursday night shirt. Well, your girlfriend is a keeper, my friend. She knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. that, that's a great choice. Uh, and on the topic of shirts... They are being made right now. The new ones are being made. Um, I, the big thing is we pick the worst time possible to order shirts because it's a small company, mom and pop, uh, only a few people on the team there. And, uh, you know, we, I went in there right before Christmas and said, hey, can I get 400 shirts? <laughs> so, um, you know, they're maybe not done as quickly as I would expect, but I'm mad at them. I uh, love the people over there. Can't wait to get them. Our, uh, our intent is to film some videos tomorrow. So as Lisa stated earlier today, 
that's when they're going to call and say the shirts are ready when we're in the middle of filming videos because that's how things always work. Yes. My chat just disappeared. No, it didn't. Thank goodness. And you won't respond to stuff. <laughs> I mean, it was only literally my first fish event ever and my first ever time meeting y'all. Hadn't we met before then? I don't think we were. No. Ju did, did we bring him up having never met him before? Yeah, we never met him oh, before. Oh, that's hilarious. How's the new grandbaby? Uh, which one? She looks like a normal <laughs> baby now. Not a not an alien like babies oh usually look when they first come she's out. She's so beautiful. Oh, she's good. She's doing good. She has a photo shoot tomorrow. Really? Yeah. She's so pretty. I was just on the site looking for the new shirts. Yeah, they're, they're coming, uh, and I can't wait. They are so... They're going to be so awesome. I'm so excited about them. Uh, if you do not recall, I did share the design. Should we I do a, it again? Didn't we get a limited amount of hoodies too? Just a limited amount. Yeah, I can get more, but uh, I'm going to share it again here right now because I'm really happy with them and I'm proud of them because I did the design all by myself. Uh, this is the design for one. Um, this will be on the back, of course, and on the front will be the same fish with no text. Um, and that's going to be really cool. Uh, so that's the beta one. And then we have also an Oscar one. Whoa, that's a much bigger picture. Uh, no, that's not the one because that doesn't have the text on it. Uh, where's the one with the text? Maybe it's this one. Yep, there we go. I'll cover myself instead of covering Lisa. That's the second one. Uh, again, that'll be on the it. back. Um, if you oh, if you look closely, you can see that it says keepfishkeeping.com in the on the fins. And actually, that's not the right one either. Uh, because okay, I see it. Hold on. This is the one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the one. So what I did was try to make his fins look like the KG Tropicals and the KeepFishKeeping.com was incorporated into his fins. So there you go. That is on the back of the shirt. Uh, the front will be just the fish with no text. Um, so those are coming. We've got a bunch of them coming. I think, the hood, like she said, the hoodies are not as many, but there are hoodies um, and they're reasonably priced. And they will be available. I am not saying this to be a salesman. I am simply telling you a fact. If you want a hoodie, I would buy them up as soon as you see them. <laughs> because there's not that many of them. We, we will get more. If they sell out really fast, we will get more. But, uh, you know, putting in a big order right up front. Lots of money. Um, so, you know, we only ordered a certain amount. But the good thing is they're right down the street. We can order from them on a Monday and, and have the shirts by that Friday. If it's a small order, just to refill stock. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that because I think it's a really cool design and mm -hmm. I think it's going to look awesome. Yeah. I'm excited too. Cause I like the black and white look. I think that looks really good. Uh, I almost read your your chat. So you will have to decide if you are a beta or an Oscar person. Yeah. You know what? I did not, I didn't create a design that had both. Uh, I don't even know how I would do that because an Oscar would just immediately eat a beta. Yeah. Maybe you could do it to where the beta is bigger than the Oscar. Because that would look really realistic. Yeah. Uh, With its mouth open going <laughs> to the Oscar. That's fun. Any 3X sizes? Yes. Uh, there will be up to 5X. Uh, but the 5Xs and the 4Xs and the 3Xs, there's not as many. So, again, when they pop up, get them because uh, we'll get them again. But, you know. Yeah, we, it's easier to do it this way now. We yep. have a better, a better hookup. The other place, uh, it, they were great, the place that we were getting our shirts made in Virginia. But we had to order so many of them. And so it was hard. I mean. It's just the two of us. It's a, we're a small business. You know, it was hard to put in $10,000 orders. 
So now, I mean, he told me, he's like, you can call me up and say, I need 10 extra larges and I'll make 10 extra larges for you. Uh, because what they don't do, if you're familiar with screen printing, they don't throw away their screens. Oh. So he's going to make a screen for us. If it was a one-time thing, he would. But he said, if you're going to be ordering these regularly, we'll make your screen. And then when we're making your, when we're done making your shirts, we'll stick it up on a shelf so that next time you come, we'll just pull your screen, put it on the machine, and there you go. So that's really cool. Yeah. A lot of times the uh, the companies will charge you, you know, for making the screens, which they should. But if they have to charge you every single time, that kind of sucks. This company won't do that. So, uh, yeah, I, I just I love the people. I spent like two hours there just shooting the you know what with them. Oh, and just say it. You've said everything else tonight. I should read my response to uh, to what that guy said. What? Oh, <laughs> she said douchebag. Yeah, I did. <laughs> sweet little Lisa that everybody thinks is so sweet, except for that guy. Uh, she called him a D-bag. But then I told him to have a nice day. Yeah, that is such a condescending thing to say. Yeah. At the end, it's basically like, here's what it is, so go F yourself. That's what Stephen P. likes to say to people. <laughs> I don't know. My motto this year is motto or motto? It's motto. Motto. But say it however my, you want. <laughs> my motto this year for 2024 is to treat others the way, the way they treat me. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Are the hoodies pullovers? Or will they have zippers? They are pullovers uh, because that's the kind of hoodies that we like. Yeah. I don't call the zipper ones hoodies. Those aren't hoodies. Those are jackets. Those are jackets with a hood. Uh, a hoodie is some, is automatically a pullover with the pouch in it, the kangaroo pouch. Oh. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be the pullover style with the drawstrings and, the, and, the, uh, and no zipper. Those jackets aren't bad. I've got an Adam Sandler one that I bought at his concert, but it's uh, that's not what we wanted here. I, I wanted to do pullover hoodies. Right. Have a nice day is like, bless your heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically like telling somebody to go F themselves without saying go F yourself. Yeah. Like you do, Stephen P. <laughs> because he's the one that said it. So printful print on demand will integrate into your Shopify store. Mm, not a big fan. Hmm. We bought some printful shirts. A friend of ours sent us one. And this is so weird. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to say who it was. Oh. Tanner Serpa sent us hoodies on the topic of hoodies. I love that hoodie too. That he got I from got printful it. that had his logo on it. It's green. I've worn them in videos. It's a beautiful, beautiful hoodie. It's, it was my favorite. I was like, oh, my God, this is the most comfortable thing in the world. And so I, I texted him, and I was like, hey, where'd you get those made? He told me it was printful, so I ordered some, sent him ours, uh, which I haven't seen him wear, and that hurts my feelings, but sent him ours. The one that I got that is from him is perfect. I've washed it like 20 times. It's perfect. The ones that I got made with my logo on it, the logo is fading oh, yeah. and it's kind of crappy. And Looks I'm like, gray Damn. Instead of white. maybe Tanner paid for like the super duper prints. I don't know. But the quality to me seems comparable to like a Teespring, which Teespring is a great service. It's just not the best quality. I want a uh, good old fashioned, thick, hand laid down uh, screen printing, the real deal, not a machine that prints it on like a printer. And a, no, the real thing to me, that's what is always stood up the longest. And that, so that's what we ordered. And, uh, it might not be as convenient as printful or, uh, Teespring, but it is what it is. Okay. We got four minutes left. So Lisa, I was eyeing orange placat mail with white spots near the tail, not showing sold out and not there now. I think I know which one that is. I took a bunch of them off the website recently because we were with the weather and everything. I just really wasn't trying to sell a bunch. 
and I think I know exactly which one it is. Just email me and we can figure that out if you're still interested. So, and he is really pretty. What she means is email me. I will then tell her there's an email for her. Yeah, say so this email is for Lisa. Well, I know someone who sold Oscar related shirts with that phrase. Oh, true. He learned from you. Shots fired and shots well deserved. Stephen P. I walked right into that one. And you know what? Bravo to you, my friend. Well played. That was a good job. Yeah, yeah I did do that. But I didn't say the real word. I he censored it out. out. He called you out. I censored it. And uh, we sold out of that shirt very, very quickly. Thank you very much. But I, And I think maybe he possibly even bought one of those shirts. I don't recall. But, uh, but yeah, it's true. But, you know, at least I don't say it on my YouTube videos like you do. Well, it's I do, later at night. actually. I say it. I just bleep out the bad word. But anyway, listen. It's time. This yeah. has been fun. What happened to the podcast with Jason from Primetime? I'm so glad you brought that up. I still have it. I'm, I'm going to get it up. I promise. That sounded weird. I'm going to get the podcast uploaded. Uh, I'm going to work on that tomorrow. It's going to be there. Tomorrow? And you don't have time to do it tomorrow. Say this weekend. Uh, it, it's not going to take that much time. work on it just time. weekend. It's not going to take that much time. Yeah, I'll get it up in the next few days. It's really hard with the podcast because... We're not doing things the way that we were doing them. And the way we're doing topics right now isn't really podcast type things. So Can I think. Can you just put it up on the uh, podcast thing instead of the YouTube thing? Yeah, of course. And that's exactly what I'll do. But what I'm saying is the podcast, I, I think we might need to start recording podcasts completely separate from everything else yeah. and uploading them. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, subscribe to the Tank Talk podcast on Apple, Spotify, all of them. Um, it, it'll be right next to Joe Rogan, right next to him, because we're like the biggest in the world. Um, <laughs> subscribe to that <laughs> podcast. There will be new episodes coming out really soon, including the one uh, with Jason Adams. And very excited about that. So say goodbye to these folks, because oh. it's time to shut down. Oh, they're probably so tired of you. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry for how he behaved. I'm going to punish him later and just, I'll stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you everybody for being here. It was a lot of fun and I uh, hope you have a great weekend and uh, we will see you next Thursday with another fun topic. Have a great, have a great weekend. Bye.